the outcome was never really in doubt. Mario Abdo Benitez's Colorado party has governed Paraguay for all but four years since 1947. His father was private secretary to the long-serving dictator Alfredo Struzna. The only surprise was that the margin of victory was not as great as that suggested by the opinion polls. I hold my dear Paraguay here, and I will not bring this honor. I will honor with the transparent and honest administration, and with the character to confront the vices that destroy the hope of our nation. It doesn't matter who the adversaries of our people are. The adversaries of the people are going to be the adversaries of the next president of the Republic of Paraguay. It's not clear which adversaries he's referring to. Paraguay's economy, especially agriculture, is growing, although more than a quarter of its nearly 7 million inhabitants live in poverty. A landlocked country in the heart of South America, it is little known by its neighbours and less so by the rest of the world. The defeated candidate was hoping to tackle that situation. I handle international relations so I know about your concerns. You don't need to worry. Our international relations are in very good hands. Hands that will also defend human rights. We will face the defense of freedom head on. You know me. This is not just a speech. This is my life testimony. I don't trick nor negotiate. The outgoing president, Horacio Cartes, was prevented from changing the constitution to allow him to stand for re-election by an electorate often suspicious of its politicians and invested in democracy after generations of political turmoil followed by a brutal dictatorship. The truth is that the people are very hopeful about these elections because we are dealing with an exorbitant amount of corruption where the parliamentarians themselves have committed gross acts of corruption. In these elections, we hope to establish a better future for the country because lately we've been disappointed with the government's economic plan. We are living through total uncertainty. We are voting for change, for hope, although there is complete uncertainty about the candidates' proposals. Let's see what happens. The newly elected president, known as Morito to his followers, takes office in August. He's promised to continue driving economic growth while opposing social change, such as the legalization of abortion and same-sex marriage. A victory for the majority, who like Paraguay just the way it is. Daniel Schreiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.